Hey, hello everybody, and uh, in this video I want to show you how to get started with Rust programming. Rust is a pro the very popular programming language called Rust. How to get started with Rust without installing any software on your computer. So what we use is Visual Studio Codespace. This is a brand new product. Go to this website, online.visualstudio.com. And uh, if you you probably ask to have a Microsoft Azure account, and once you have that, once you log in, you can you can create a free one. Once you log in, you will see this create code space, and you do that. It will ask you what's the name of the code space. Let's say learn Rust, and it will ask you about a code Git repository. Where where does the code come from? This is a specially configured Git, Git repository to work with this IDE. So here we already have something set up, and uh, you can just use the repository that I have. This would be the link would be on the notes in this video. Git repositories here, and the instance type you can choose the size of virtual machine that you want to use. We can just we can see the pricing information here. If we go here. We're gonna see if we we choose the basic. The basic type is probably enough for most people. It costs about like nine cents an hour. So if you work for a whole day, ten hours, it would be less than one dollar. So it's much less than a cup of coffee that you would normally consume. So I think it's a really good deal, com compared with you know the potential to mess up with the computer and all that stuff, right? So we go back. Sorry. I just lost all the information I, I put in. Learn Rust, Git repository, and uh, select the basic. And now we create the code space. What it does is takes the code from the Git repository and uh, start a Docker file. And the Docker file has all the Rust compiler and cargo and all that stuff pre-compiled pre-installed so that we would have tools that's available straight out of the box. So we are just wait for a couple of minutes for it to set up. Once it's set up, you don't need to go through this process every time again. You can just come back to come back to this website and click into the click into the ID you already set up once you have it done. So here what it does is putting the Docker image. It's, you would normally see on your computer, and you can see there's um, the Docker image is called Rust. This is so all the environment, all the software and environments that's been configured for you. It's putting all the Linux packages. Okay, wrong container. It's almost done. Now we have it, and uh, it takes a minute to start up. So here is a welcome screen, the information that you can learn about Visual Studio and all that. We can just go ahead and, and close all those. We don't need those. So here on the left side panel, you see the directory structure of the source code project that we're working on. This cargo.tom.toml is the the build script that uh, the Rust system uses. And you can see it has package names. If you have dependencies, you can have dependencies over here. And now you can see the green object target and cargo.log. Those are compiler generated output. So on the background, VS Code has already compiled the project for you, and uh, it's it shows up green because there's no mis no error has been found. So the source code folder, the source folder has the Rust code source code, and this is the main dot 
all it does is the main message prints out hello world. Okay, so how do we run this program? And uh, typically we run Rust, we build and run Rust from the command line. So what we do here is from here we open a terminal window. Terminal, uh, again, everything here works on your browser. So on the terminal window, we are already in the working directory. You can see what's in here. And we can do cargo build to run, run the Rust compiler and build the application. Right? And if we do cargo run, it will run the application and print out hello world. Or we can do directly run hello world. This is, uh, operating, this is a native binary Rust build for us. It's print out the whole world, right? So now you can go create more files and you can change anything here and see how and, and develop your Rust application. And uh, let's do that. Let's change the hello world to something else. So if we change this to say hello code spaces, and you can see there's error. You can see all those things turn red because the compiler has, has found an error. And if you hover here, it will say, okay, it's expected a token. This is the, the error that is generated from the Rust compiler. And if we do that, it says there's it detects a string, but it's unterminated. And you can see what the problem is. It will show you exactly what the Rust compiler says, so the, the error output from the Rust compiler. If you say, so we close this. And now it's fine. Everything seems to be, it's no longer red. So here we can do the cargo build again. It, it compiles the binary output. And if we do cargo wrong again, it says, hello, code space. So anyway, this is a full-fledged compiler, a full-fledged IDE that you can use, and you can have access to the operating system. You can run any commands. This, and uh, basically, you can do all your software development work right here for less than a dollar per day. And if you are logged into GitHub, you will be able to see all the files that's been changed locally, and you will be able to send a pull request back into the repository. If you change anything, you can send a pull request back into the repository. And we can do that. We can do cargo clean. It's going to clean up all the artifacts. And you will be able to send this, this change, hello code space, back into the repository and for the maintainer of the repository to look and perhaps merge your change back into that. All right, so that's it. Thank you very much.